covered um, on Tuesday, we looked at 10 things um, on passing the guard. So I made wedges, that's the very first thing. So we talked about, um, we talked about um, on Tuesday, why we made wedges. Listen, why did we make wedges underneath his hips? We can't pull you back down. Okay, yeah, because his butt's off the mat, and um, if he engage, if, if my knees are, um, are wide and charged hips are raised, okay, his butt falls and he whiplashes me down. That's one thing. Another thing we want to be thinking about is posture inside the those guard. What the hell is posture? This doesn't mean straight back, okay. If my knees are wide um, and I haven't brought them underneath, look how close my hips are to my knees, if that makes sense. My um, hips are nearly in line with my um, knees. But once I make wedges here, look how far back my hips are now. You're talking another foot and a half. I don't know what that is in um, metric. So we're here. So. So another reason why we make um, wedges is because a better posture from this position. My hips are further back. Then we talked about um, making that primary grip, which was the second move. Okay, that can be difficult, you know, in the frenzy of a of a roll. You know, Car wants to make grips, and you can start to turn your cross, take my back and stuff. So I never want these floating. So rather than trying, especially if the geese out like that, you know. Sometimes we're better grabbing two lapels, if that makes sense. Now, once I grab two lapels, before I make that grip, I want my elbows on the outside. Does that make sense? Because say I grab two lapels and my elbows are on the inside, Carl, so I'm going to go for the top lock. Okay, no, he's not. So we're here, when we were playing close guard, guys, say Carl had the two lapels but his elbows weren't here. Anytime his elbows floating, we covered this um, in Donaher's um, close guard bottom game, the, the top lock, the 45 inside. I can basically pull with my knees to get Carl at 45 degrees, get his elbow inside my hip, and then from this position, I can jump, jump straight into the top lock. And obviously from there, I have the arm lock. So, we want to close that down. I, one, I make wedges, so that stops the, the posture break, but it also keeps me better posture. Two, from here, especially if the geese out, I grab two lapels and my elbows are on the outside. If the car tries to top lock, it's just not going to happen. Then I make better grip switch. Does that make sense, yeah? Um, so we have, three po we have three postures inside the closed guard. So our first posture is obviously when I make wedges and I'm sitting back. Okay. Notice way how my hips are further back from my knees. Then we found the, the secondary arm. And we talked about if I tie up this arm, that takes up 90% of this game away, which was the third technique. Four, I come up on the balls and feet. Okay, five and six I do together. So I lean to the side. I step up with my foot and I windshield wiper my other leg. Okay, this is my next posture break, or my, my next posture. I put my weight over my hands. Notice the way my head is up, okay? So if you think about um, the positioning of my head, if it's down here, it's a zero. If it's up straight, it's a 90. Um, for Char's perspective, he the ideal attacking angle is 45. He wants my head at 45. So it makes it makes sense that when I get into the second posture move and we're here, okay, and I keep my weight over my hands, I don't want my head below 45. So somewhere between 45 and 90. Then when I step up into my square stance, we had our move. And there's your third posture break there. We have vertical posture. Does that make sense? So again. So from close guard, we're here. First thing we're looking to do is one, make wedges. Okay, and there's your first posture. Okay, notice how my hips are further back from my knees. Then I'm gonna take the two lapels. Before I make that grip, I will be keeping them on the outside. These cards tries to arm drag me across and stuff. Then I make the grip. Okay. If he makes um 
the grip here, I can find this, peel it off, and then I'm back into my position again. Okay. Let me lean to the side, plant her foot, windshield wiper. Okay, second posture now is my weight is over my hands. Watch when I step up, the, cl the closer my feet come to Carl, he's carrying my weight. So there's my second posture. Okay. Weights over my hands, all my weights going into my fists. And now from here, third one is vertical posture. Okay, so we end up here. Okay. So we've looked at two methods. Okay. We've looked at the knee or the standard method, which was the knee push. Okay. We're gonna look at um, a reach behind method now. So let's just say I can't physically open Carl's guard from this position. We talked about how if I push this, I wanted to make sure that I fill that space and then I'd be looking to push The other one we're going to do is a reach behind. You'll always go for the knee push one first, okay, because it's the, the high percentage one. Um, but if you can't get this, we're going to look at this reach behind one. So, wedges, primary grip, secondary grip. Okay. From there, ball to the feet, I lean and I put my foot up on the side that I'm tying up first. Windshield wiper to give me the base, I keep my weight over my hands and then I come up into that square stance. You should see the way I'm pinching with my knees, we covered this on Tuesday, now there's vertical posture. So say I go for this and I just, you get people that are very good at closing or keeping the guard closed. The other thing I can do is I can put my hand on my ass, okay? And now from there I'm going to level change and put the crook of my arm around my leg. Keep the guard closed, the guard. The guard sucks at keeping his guard closed. <laughs> so we're here, I come up, keep it closed, buddy. So we're here, I just push this behind and now I get the crook of my arm behind the back of his left knee. So I just level change. Notice the way my biceps down, I want to bring my arm so it's parallel to the ground. And now it's just this to open the guard. Now the problem is now I'm not controlling the inside space. What's going to happen is car then, I get two feet in my hips and maybe start launching me and stuff. So on the knee push method, we went forward. Anytime we do the reacher behind one, we always go backwards. Let's take a look at that. So the sequence is, if you were here on Tuesday, this will all be very easy. If we weren't, it should have been. So from our position, wedges is the first thing. Primary grip, if I'm struggling to get that, elbows on the outside, let me make the primary grip. Okay. Looking for the, set, the secondary one, but we'll look at the next move if I can't get that. So we tie it up, ball to the feet, lean, never forward or he's breaking my posture, plant the foot. Windshield wiper, keep my weight. I want him carrying my weight, so now I step up, square stance. And there's my third posture there, elbow inside. So I'm looking for this, okay? If I can't get it, I'm gonna bring my hand out, I'm gonna slightly level change, and I get the crook of my arm under my leg. Now from here, I don't go forward. I make grips and I move back into my bull fight position. I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole of this, but once you make this grip, guys, don't go past the toe line. An invisible line between Carl's toes. Anytime I step into that, he's making his hooks. I'm in trouble. Okay, um, one more time on that, bro. So we're here. Okay, wedges. This is the way my posture so far back. Never here. It's just going to get bumpy. Okay, so wedges. Make my two grips, elbows on the outside, in case he's trying to arm drag me. Then I make the primary grip, secondary grip. I've tied up 90% of his games away. Keep your guard close, Kara. And from there, balls to the feet. Okay. One, two, vertical posture. Okay. Elbow tucked. Now, first method is knee push. If I open his guard, I'm going forward. Push this down, knee comes across, cross face, underhook, pressure, try to close your half guard card. And then from here, I've got the pass. Yeah. If 
if I can't open it with the knee push, but you'll always go for it first, we're going to do that reach behind method. So, wedges. Okay. Primary grip, secondary grip, balls of the feet. One, two, square stance. Go to push, can't open it, reach behind. Okay. Level change and get the crook of my arm under his leg. And now you both go. Okay. Sometimes you, you're not even open someone's legs like that. Maybe one more option. Wedges. Primary arm. Secondary arm. Balls of the feet. Knee. One. Two. Can't get it open. Okay, from here, if I can't get the crook of my arm, say Carl has his guard so tight, I can only get my hand and my ass. Watch, from here, knees are pinched. I'm just gonna turn my hip this way and sh elbow shuck straight out to here, open the guard. Immediately, I move back. Now we're ready to pass. Don't step into that space. You're gonna get into a lot of trouble. 